Hello, welcome to Board Games with Niramas. I'm Joseph or Niramas, and I'm here today with Draco. Today we're taking a look at Monumental, a game from Matthew Dunstan and published by Funforge. And I'm really happy that we got a copy of this, and it's a huge, huge box, so I'm excited to see everything that's in here. So we start off here with the um, rulebook. It's uh, in a bag, actually. Nice, protected like that. And then we have some punch outs. Let's take a closer look at these. So we have one, I guess this is a scoreboard. And I'm excited to play this game because I, I like the idea. It's a deck building combined with a civilization theme, which sounds great in my opinion. And you know, I'm excited to see how it works. Here are some small tokens. Here's some, I guess these are like, I don't know, like production or some resources. Then there is a bunch of these wonders and very classic, like we have the International Space Station. I assume that's like the last thing you can build. Uh, Chambord, Hagia Sophia, we have Statue of Liberty and a bunch of different here. We also have sort of city-states or like you can meet. We have Rome, Kathmandu, Samarkand, Babylon. Uh, looks nice, and then we have tokens here. Not really sure what these are for. I think these are barbarians. Yeah, yeah they are. So they, like you beat the barbarians, you get a reward. So you don't know when you fight the barbarian what you're gonna get as a reward, but you see the strength of the barbarian here. And you know, I really like civilization, the board game, and I like civilization theme in a game. And this looks, this looks cool. We have some whatever this is called, like knowledge or. Kind of you know progress token um and here's coins but i'm not going to punch these because i did get these lovely metal coins i'm going to use instead these look really cool they have like on, on one side it's a um, globe and on the other side it's a lion so yeah I, I like those they are very thin but you know they they look nice okay so that's those and then we have all the lovely minis this is going to be cool i don't know if i'm if i'm going to paint these <laughs> it's I guess it would take some time because there's so many of them. Okay, so here we go. We start off with, I guess these are, I think these are like the different factions. They have different minis. They look nice, really nice detail on these and sturdy um, as well. And I guess these are, these might be like leaders or something like that. And they look amazing as well. Love the cape there. I will have to paint these guys because you know it's gonna take a while. So I'll probably I'll probably see that as a long-term project. Uh, I guess this is like the leader of Egypt or something like that. It looks like a pharaoh. And really lovely uh, miniatures, I must say. Here's some uh oh this is probably Egypt's uh you know foot soldiers. Get the focus, there we go. As you can see here, details on the shield and so on. Yeah, that looks nice. And these look like Romans. With that, uh, I look at the shield there as well. Such a nice detail. So it's like the shield is like uh, worn a little bit. And yeah, wow. Uh, th these look really good. I didn't, I don't know, I, I didn't really think about that, but I did sort of somehow. Didn't expect to find this nice level of miniatures in, in this game because it's these are the Japanese uh, um, as you they have the katana there and everything. Uh, yeah, well, anyway, I, I, like the game is from what I understood, the game is not about dudes on a map. It's a deck builder, but then you have the dudes on a map as well. Uh, that's why you build your deck so you can get resources and so on in order to. Uh, move them around and conquer territory and make alliances I think with these city-states and so on and I only seen a playthrough that's how I got interested in the game I saw a playthrough of John Gets Games one of my favorite youtubers by the way he did a playthrough with the um, what's it called a prototype for the Kickstarter so um, I haven't seen the final components yet and then we have these uh, outposts I think they're called look really nice as well really really you know detailed a little wooden door there wow yeah 
I mean, these these actually, I must say, these look nice, even when they're not painted. It's like they don't have this little, like, often miniatures have, like, a really, really, you know, bland gray color. These are a little bit, you know, brighter, uh, more into the white, which I really like. So we'll see, we'll see if I'm gonna paint them. <laughs> it would take a while. Okay, so, second layer here, we have even more, even more miniatures, wow. And um, some of these I think were like stretch goats and so on in the Kickstarter. Look at this. Here's something really huge. So this is like a um I don't know if it's like a god or or you know just uh, some leader here with a looks like a Genghis Khan basically <laughs> on his horse. Uh really nice. Wow, what a cool miniatures. You know, I, you know me, if you've been watching the channel, I used to be a pure Euro gamer, but I've been getting more and more into these uh, liking miniatures in games and more, uh, you know, thematic games and so on. So is this maybe Sean Dark? It looks like it. <laughs> that banner, this has to be painted. Wow, this looks, looks so cool painted. And here's uh, maybe Einstein. It's like a historical, you know, Persons that fit for a civilization game. There's so many of these. It's so cool. Wow, I really like this. There's some snakes. We obviously have some monsters out there as well. And I, I mean, I, I know that you can play the game solo. Uh, so I look forward to that. Some kind of, it's not a minotaur. Some kind of, I don't know, fantasy guy. And a little monk. Wow. Yeah, this is going to be so much fun to go through. Now we also have these, which I like in games as well. We have the colored bases, so you can indicate uh, what your who, who has what miniature in here. And here's some tokens. I think these are resources. So we have some, well, basically it's red, blue, and black discs. I think it's like production military and um, science i think it is and also some little yellow cubes whatever they are for and okay so that's the second layer of this now let's go back to the box and we have the third layer huge box and wow this looks so good looks so good i really like when they include inserts like this and often we kickstarter <laughs> games as well to get these and you know we have the monumental here so here we have the uh, map tiles so let's open these up so here we go map tiles so these are just like a modular map which is something i love in games as well and there's, there's a lot of things in this game that i really enjoy if you haven't you can go check out my top 10 game mechanic uh top list that i did just a week ago and there's a lot of in this game, there's a lot of things there that checks off in that list. So map tiles look a little bit different. Here's some birds and so on, like swamp. Here we have a snowy mountain peak. Have some, you know, volcano and a little, you know, lake. And over here we have some green area. That these look amazing. Wow, I love the artwork on these. And kind of swamp, I guess. And then we have this looks like a indoor, like a paved here, and then some meadows, so on. Yeah, so it looks really nice. And you make the map each time you play, so I guess it's gonna be like different. And you also have like a number on here that I learned from that playthrough I watched that this is like the strength of the area, so. You conquer one of those areas, you need a base strength, and then you also need to defeat whatever is there, if it's a barbarian or if it's an opponent player. Then here we have the cards, and so we have a action card. Okay. Civilization cards. And these are the actual cards, I think, like the, the basic cards that you have for the in your deck that you build, and then when you use them, in this case, you would get one. I don't know what it's called, sorry. If it's a one resource or building material or something like that, I'll, I'll look that up. Uh, so work camps, here's well, there's different kind of work camps basically. Different artwork. Here's a fort, giving some military strength. 
And I love how these have different artwork on them, even though it's the same card, I think. Well, maybe there's some difference up there. There's a little bit, a little, oh, that's like the Japanese, I think. So I guess these are like the Japanese starting cards. Okay, a library giving science. Yeah, okay, so that's probably the base cards that I was looking at there. Then we have here. So culture, cultural exchange. And this has like a... Uh, a special effect on it as well. So the cards keep getting better, of course, as you buy new ones. Printing press, combustion, philosophy. It all, you know, hanging gardens. <laughs> I was just gonna say it all sounds like civilization, right? Uh, the board, you know, the the computer game or the board game. And here we go, hanging gardens, wonder, the Great Wall. Yeah, Ramesses is a leader, warlord, and victory points. A reminder. That's cool. Like a play raid. And yeah, I'm going to sleeve these cards. And I hope, well, since I probably will be playing this game a lot, I hope so. I hope that I enjoy it. And again, here we have the different factions on the back. And then here is, and these are all like seeded in a order. So it's like eras. So we start off getting some basic cards and then you get better and better cards, of course. Like the forum. Uh, Hoplite Grounds, gain a military for each fort and archery range you are uh, activated this turn. Temple, yeah. It's everything you would expect from a civilization game, right? And there are some expansions out for this. It was just a uh, Kickstarter with expansions that, you know, I, I sadly missed. But I'll, I'll, you know, if I like the game, I'll pick, make sure to somehow pick up those expansions in the future as well. All right, so that was the map tiles and cards. Now we also have some other cards here that are um, like two-headed serpent, Cerebrus. It looks like these are monsters, right? Golem. So maybe these are in the solo game. I'm not really sure if we'll be fighting monsters in the solo game. Not sure. But before we end this unboxing, I want to take a look at, as you've seen here, I have a bunch. I have five of these play mats over here. Really nice stuff. These were add-ons on the Kickstarter as well. I'm so happy that I got these as well. So let's take a look at those. And see how they look. Now, I'll, I don't know if I ever, ever will be playing five players, but it's cool to have for the full play account as well. So let's check these out. They look, they look to be, yeah, it's neoprene. And these are not needed to play the game, from what I understand. Or they are, they are not needed, because you can, you can sort of just, you know, have the cards on the table. But of course, these help out. These will, and they look very nice. I think these look amazing. Look at this. This looks really nice, really nice quality as well. Good gaming mats. And in a card game, especially if you're not playing sleeved, you really want to have a mat because it's much easier to lift up the cards. Now I have this on my table all the time. But anyway, so we have some nice artwork and this, this is really cool in this game. So it's a deck builder, but you don't have the cards in hand. Instead, you put out cards, nine cards like this, and then on your turn, you activate a, a row and a column uh, of your choosing. And those cards will be activated. They give you different effects, uh, resources, or ways to use the resources and so on. And then those cards go to the discard pile, which I guess is over here. <laughs> There's a trash can over there. And then also on, uh, then you refill with new cards from your deck. And as you get new cards, they go into your deck and then you make your deck better as you go. And here we have some like, technologies or whatever they call that will like develop so you get new special powers you have your leader and you have um, special abilities from your leader so yeah i really like this uh, play mats and i think overall in games i prefer i actually prefer play mats over player boards because I, I love i mean especially for card games i love having play mats and I just, you know, if they look good, they help you out lifting up the cards and sorting everything out. So, and you can roll them up as well, but you can't with a cardboard player board. So yeah, that is everything from the unboxing. So yeah, I'll be back with a playthrough. I haven't decided yet if it's going to be a solo playthrough or if it's going to be a two player with Draco over there. So let me know in the comment section, what do you want to see the most? Do you want to see a solo playthrough? I don't really know how that works, but I guess there's some kind of uh, AI that I will be fighting in that case. Or do you want to see me and Draco go heads up in a two-player game? Let me know in the comments and thank you for watching. If you like this unboxing, press the like button, subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great evening or morning or whenever you're watching. Take care. Bye-bye.
Be like Draco. Follow board games with Niramas on Facebook at BGW Niramas. <laughs>